hope what I'm going to share with you will not be too long. Uh, it's about inspiration from what I had by reading Revelations, and uh, I'm making particular reference to the Church of Ephesus. So that is in Revelations chapter two, and the key verse that uh, I'm going to base my uh, testimony on is uh, Revelations chapter two, verse seven. And that is, whoever has hears, let them hear. And what the Spirit says to the churches, to the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. So this is what I'm going to base my uh, testimony on. Uh, actually, uh, I know there's a popular saying that uh, an examining life is not worth living. Yeah, so as I reflect on my life and pitched against uh, what uh, we read from Revelations, I realized that uh, there's the need for me to have a sober reflection of uh, whatever I do. Yeah. So um, why do I decide to uh, focus on Ephesus? From the Bible, I got to know that uh, those of Ephesus are uh, uh, it was stated that they work very hard, they are able to persevere, uh, but the shortcoming of those people in the church of Ephesus was that uh, uh, they have forsaken the love that they have at first and uh, tend to have fallen from uh, their initial hard work and perseverance. And then what they are supposed to or expected to do is to repent and seek the face of the Lord as they uh, work hard. So as I reflect on that, uh, I look at uh, uh, my commitment to learning the Word of God uh, prior to spring 2014, and uh, I realized that uh, before that, uh, my commitment to uh, learning the, re uh, the Word of God uh, was a bit uh, lopsided. So. I decided to figure out what I should do to be able to um, work hard on whatever I do in learning the Word of God and also trying to share with other people. So uh, I had to look at uh, time and the energy that I have as a student, specific events that I need to organize myself because uh, it is very important and critical in whatever I do. Time and energy counts a lot. And uh, as I do that, I realize that there is a need to uh, focus on God, the word of God, <coughs> who will be my guide and give me the strength. Otherwise, uh, what I'm going to do will be full of stress. Stress, the stress can be physical stress, or it can be emotional stress, or it can be chemical stress, physical stress, it can be maybe my posture, how I go about motor coordination, I mean, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Emotional stress can be uh, seen from many angles. It could be financial problems or anger, rage. Um, how do I control all these things? And I just made mention of chemical stress, maybe the kind of food that I eat, uh, is it going to give me stress as I take them? That's how I organize this. So all these uh, kinds of stress, I realize that uh, I cannot overcome this unless I seek uh, first uh, the word of God. As uh, was preached this morning, that uh, there's the need to get up early and praise God so that uh, all the stress that we have, we shall be able to get it off ourselves and be able to tune ourselves for the rest of the day. So I take also inspiration from that. That is Psalm 145, verse 2, praising God because God is a, uh, a stress reliever. Now, it is difficult for me to uh, measure accurately whatever I do if I want to quantify it. But I believe that, however, it depends on the consistency of what. I decide to do. If I say that, oh, let me rediscover myself and uh, try to learn more about the Word of God, remain commit, uh, be more committed. I know that uh, it is the consistency in the way I work it out. 
and general patterns that run through that will help me to be able to uh, uh, find a way out. But apart from this, I still believe that uh, it is only by the grace of God that I can see things through in my life because I cannot do it on my own. It takes uh, the grace of God. As uh, Revelation 3, 3 said, Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Hold on to it very fast and repent. But if you don't wake up, I will come like a thief. So as I also reflect on Revelation 3, 3, it gives me uh, the, an understanding that uh, there is uh, the need for me to... Uh, rediscover myself and also remain, uh, get more committed to the word of God. Uh, somebody may say that, oh, you do that through song ministration, but uh, song ministration, I believe, is not uh, all uh, enough for me to get things through. There's more for me to do. So as Christians, I believe that um, there's a need for us to continuously uh, have a sober reflection of our life, and uh, I believe that as we do that, we'll be able to uh, know exactly our shortfalls and prepare uh, ourselves to meet the challenges ahead. Uh, I don't have uh, much to add to what I've said, but basically, let me emphasize that uh, uh, Revelations uh, chapter 2 verse 7 has really given me a food for thought and it has given me the hope that uh, in Christ uh, I'll be able to stand up and meet the challenges. Thank you so much.